Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take 6 raised to power 6 to the left hand side, and we have x minus 2, all raised to power 6, minus 6 raised to power 6, now equals to 0 here. The next step, you can write it as x minus 2, all raised to power 3, and all raised to power 2. As 2 times 3 here give us 6 and minus. Also, here we have 6 raised to the power 3 and all raised to the power 2. That equals to 0 from here. The next step, this follows on we have a square minus b square. Put the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a minus b, which implies here a standing as x minus 2. All raised to power 3 and b standing as 6 raised to power 3. Then what we have here follow this and becomes x minus 2 all raised to power 3 plus 6 raised to power 3 into brackets. Then also open bracket x minus 2 all raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3. Close bracket now equals to zero from here. Then next step we have two possible cases here. The first one x minus two all raised to power three plus six raised to power three equals to zero. Or we have x minus two all raised to power three minus six raised to power three equals to zero here. And solving on this side, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open brackets a square minus a b plus b square. That is, this follow what we have and becomes x minus 2 plus 6 into brackets, then open brackets x minus 2 all squared and minus 6 into bracket x minus 2 plus 6 square close brackets now equals to 0 here that is here this becomes x plus 4 into brackets then open bracket expansion here gives us x squared minus 4x plus 4 Minus is open this bracket, we have minus 6x plus 12, then plus 6 squared, that's 36, plus bracket, then equals to 0 here. That is, we have x plus 4 into brackets, then also open bracket, here becomes x squared. Minus 4x minus 6x, we have minus 10x, then 36 plus 12, that's 48 and 48 plus 4 that's plus 52 plus brackets then equals to 0 here that is next step here we have two possible cases the first one x plus 4 equals to 0 or we have x squared minus 10x plus 52 equals to 0 here and solving on this side this becomes x equals to minus 4. And this is the real solution here. And here we have a quadratic equation. Here he equals to 1, b equals to minus 10, and c equals to 52. That is, applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. Then what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 square minus 4 times 1 times 52 all over 2 times 1, which implies this becomes x equals to minus times minus, that's plus, that is we have 10 plus or minus square root of 
minus 10 square that's 100 and minus 4 times 1 times 52 2 or an 8 then all over 2 here and this becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 208 that's minus 1 or an 8 then all over 2 that is we can as well write it and this becomes x equals to 10 plus or minus square root of 36 times 3 times minus 1 all over 2 and when we separate this we can bring 36 root 36 out as 6 and we have x equals to 10 plus or minus 6 and we have root 3 root minus 1 is i then all over 2 that is 2 is common up here and we have x equals to 2 into brackets 5 plus or minus 3 root 3i left here then all over 2 then here 2 cancelled each other and we have x equals to 5 plus or minus 3 root 3i that is here we have two complex solutions from here then solving for the second case here as well this follows on we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 with the same thing as a minus b into brackets then open brackets a square plus a b plus b square that is what we have here follow this and becomes x minus 2 minus 6 into brackets then open brackets x minus 2 all squared plus 6 times x minus 2 then plus 6 square plus brackets that equals to 0 here that is here this becomes x minus 8 into brackets then open brackets expansion here gives us x square minus 4x plus 4 then plus 6 open this bracket we have 6x minus 12 then plus 6 squared 36 plus bracket equals to 0 here at this here we have x minus 8 into brackets then open brackets x square minus 4x plus 6x that gives us plus 2x then 36 minus 12 that gives us 24 and 24 plus 4 that's 28 plus brackets equals to 0 here then also we have two possible cases the first one x minus 8 equals to 0 or we have x square plus 2x plus 28 equals to 0 here that is solving on this side we have x equals to 8 which is a real solution here then also here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 28 and applying the quadratic formula this becomes x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 28 then all over 2 times 1 that is this becomes x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square that's 4 then minus 4 times 1 times 28 give us 112 then all over 2 here then this becomes x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 112 that's minus 108 then all over 2 that is we can write it as x equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 36 times 3 times minus 1 all over 2 
And when we separate this, we take the six and six, we take it out, and we have x equals to minus two plus or minus six. We have root three, then root minus one is i, and all over two. Which implies, yeah, two is common up here. We factor it out, and we have x equals to two into bracket minus one plus or minus three root a high left here then all over two that is yeah two cancel each other and we have x equals to minus one plus or minus three root three i also we have two complex solutions from here and therefore all together here we have six solutions in this given problem. Two new solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to step, subscribe for more videos, and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.